Sparkles the playful Pegasus dancing through the sky and prances. Sir, we've got an unidentified bogey coming in fast. Can you identify? I cannot identify. Can you get audio? And prancing on the rainbow, spreading love to you and I. Affirmative, sir. The music is awful. Make it stop. Take us straight to DEFCON 1. Prepare to launch missiles. Sir, it could be a benevolent magical creature. It could be a Russian spy magical creature. Fire! But, sir, that is a direct order, Santiago. Ooh, it is sparkles. If you've never been in a war, you don't know a bloody thing about war. Um, two sides try to kill each other? Where did you get that information? Who squealed? Previously, on episode 57, Dr. Hakalugi gave Princess Potty Mouth a gun that turns everything into sugar to kill Super Doofus. Princess goes on a rampage eating everything in sight. She gets an extra large tea at the wizard's drive through so she can become huge so she can eat Vicky Vicious who she turned into chocolate. Super Doofus sacrifices himself by drinking an extra small tea before being turned into a gummy bear and flying into Princess's mouth turning her small again. The following is what happened next. I figured out a way to bring Super Doofus back from the dead. How, Sammy? I found that if you reverse polarizations on the Sugarnator, you can turn the sugar back into its original material. Watch this. Ever since she ate the giant gummy, Princess has been pooping little gummy bears. We gotta get every last gummy bear, mush them together, and reverse sugarnate them. No. Sammy, don't eat that poo. Oh, sorry. Force of habit. Make sure they're all together. Is that my poop? Why am I so small? Crap. We didn't get all the gummy bears. I've got an idea. Welcome to the Withered drive through Give me an extra large tea, quick! You want an extra large? Yeah, you heard me. Okay, you asked for it. This is huge! Monumental stupidity! Not Princess Potty Mouth! He can't swallow her! She's too big! Breaking news! Super Doofus has turned gigantic and is trying to eat Princess Potty Mouth! President Tronald Dump has made a statement. Quite frankly, we must nuke Super Doofus. Since we cannot legally nuke our own country, we are asking our new best friend in North Korea, Jim Kong In, to nuke our country for us. We have provided him with an extra small tea from the wizard's drive-thru, so Super Doofus will be rendered harmless. Meanwhile, in North Korea. Phew, that was close. Hey, put me down. Oh, 
Oh no! North Korea has super doofus! <laughs> Dr. Hakalugi strikes again. Sugar. Hey, Potty Mouth, can I have a piece of chocolate? Actually, Sammy, I was planning on eating that lady. Thanks. <laughs> hey! That's my sugar! You're gonna regret this! Only if you catch me! Gosh, a flying plug! <laughs> Sorry, little guy! <laughs> <laughs> she was naked. Sweet taste of victory. <laughs> this is one chicken that refuses to become a nugget. As you know, the feisty pets have been under attack by the mindless zombies of the plush world. They want to take away our right to self-expression with their blank stares and their stupid smiles. If you squeeze the back of their head, they don't even work. Never look into their giant soulless eyes or these zombies will assimilate you. The zombies I speak of are, of course, the Beanie Boos! We must fight back! We must knock the stuffing out of them! Let's get them! Get the zombies! Get the zombies! Where are they? Hello, Sammy. Come play with us. Forever and ever and ever. Sammy? Sign up for this crap! What did you sign up for? Home economics with Mrs. Peterson? Oh, this is riflery class. Home economics is in room 202 in building B. There once was a cat named Princess Potty Mouth who loved her sugar, and this was no secret. Flashback. I like to eat, eat, eat sugar and preservatives. <laughs> End of 
flashback. But after all of her money had been spent on sweets, an evil villain created a weapon called the Sugar Needle that turns anything it shoots into sugar. It is called the Sugar Nator. It did not turn out well for our princess. One debt to society later. Princess was on the streets once more, determined never to eat sugar again. But then she ran into Ollie the Pinata. Hey, Princess. Hey, Ollie. How's it going? I was just thinking about you the other day. Now, Ollie seemed to be saying words, but all Princess could think about was all that candy inside of Ollie as he spoke. But as Ollie walked away, he accidentally pooped out a small jelly bean. What's one little jelly bean gonna hurt? Yum! Five minutes later, the sugar made its way into Princess's bloodstream. I'll take ten barrels of chocolate, please. Now you know good and well I can't sell you any candy, princess. Oh yeah, of course. My bad. Thousands of tears later. Hey Ollie, come here for a second. What's up, princess? Would it be okay if I took a bat to your bloated body? <laughs> What are you doing? Somebody call the police! Not the popo! I'm not going back to the big house! By sheer coincidence. The sugar nader! How much for this? I don't know what it does or if it even works. Hmm, ten bucks. I'll take it. Twelve seconds later. Hey, Trixie, looking good. Looking really, really good. Ding dongs. Yum 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 yum. Yeah. Dear listener, I am sorry to report that the next thing Princess remembers was waking up on the streets of Las Vegas next to a Beanie Boo. We shall face it together! Yeah! We shall stand in the face of fear! Yeah! We will not let it terrorize us anymore! Yeah! yeah. yeah.